Hey YouTube, I want a turtle and um, we're gonna have a follow-up video regarding the TGA grading service. So I just got back my second submission, pretty small submission, um, but I'll just give you kind of like where my thoughts are regarding the service and whether I think it's worth it. Uh, let's just talk about some of the pros real quick. Um, first one is the, the price, $15 per card, and then you have to pay a little bit for shipping, insurance, and that kind of stuff, but um, you know, very reasonable compared to PSA, my preferable service, but that's, I think the cheapest is like $100 right now. Uh, turnaround took about two months and, uh, you know, re regarding like quality. So just here's a PSA case and TGA case. This is from my first submission. Uh, you know, the cases feel very similar. I like how they're actually stackable uh, with each other. Um, they also come with, you know, this little plastic cover, uh, which is, you know, if some people buy them, for the PSA cases, I personally don't. I find that it makes the cases very slippery and sometimes like if I'm carrying them somewhere, it slips and falls on the ground. Um, but yeah, so that kind of stuff still really applies. I think the cons for me regards around, uh, you know, what is the value add to having it graded? And we'll actually look at some numbers at the end of this video, but let's get into the submission first. So um, if you want the, the first submission there should be a video like that's already out there and i kind of graded a bunch of base set cards and you know where i think how i would use tga is just to get cards like encapsulate so like i'm literally just paying for the card to be encased um knowing that it doesn't actually add a lot of value compared to like psa therefore you know i'm not necessarily targeting high grades this is a 6.5 uh in my goal you know i think it's all about you know what are you trying to do for me it's I want to have the base set just encapsulated for display pur purposes and that's it you know i don't these cards aren't worth a lot they won't be worth a lot uh considering the grade so we have a 6.5 alakazam and this chancy this was just you know the chancy i had um the only chancy i had lying around that's you know all right i just want to complete the set so we'll just toss in 4.5 um like this alakazam for my first submission i i sent in another one just because I, all right I don't need a 9.5, I uh, don't need a 10, um, but I could probably do better than four. The Chansey <laughs> just squeaked by 4.5. So ideally it's, you know, like a seven or, or better would be my preference, but not the end of the world. Here we have the Clefairy, Gyarados 6, 6.5, the Machamp, and then Zapdos. Uh, so combined, actually, we'll just go through the rest of the, actually, we'll, let's just go through and, you know, so what I already had, is the rest of the cards. So here is the Charizard. Charizard actually got 7.5, not bad. Um, 7.5 on the Blastoise. So now we have the full collection of the Hollows for base sets. And um, eventually I'll, you know, purchase some kind of display case uh, to, I don't know, hang it on the wall or something. But uh, now we have all 16. And, you know, I think Another appropriate use case for TGA, again, just to get this stuff encapsulated for, for me, for display purposes, is like modern cards that's, you know, I'm not sure if it's worthwhile to send in something you might get a 10. Uh, these are some celebrations cards that I sent in just because, hey, you know, I actually don't know what warrants a pristine 10. The bar is pretty high. Um, you know, I, I actually think maybe it's too high, uh, but you know, that that's where they set the bar. That's, there's, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. But anyway, uh, I got 9.5 and you know, maybe at some point we'll complete the collection here. Uh, most likely what I'll do is, you know, I don't think this will get a PSA 10, so I'll just submit TGA uh, for a fraction of the price of sending it to PSA and I'll complete the celebration set um, and maybe I'll use that for display purposes again. Charizard only got a nine, which is a little disappointing. Actually, I think the Blastoise was pretty good. Um, so again, I think they have a pretty high bar for pristine ten, which is which is good. Uh, but we'll take a look take a look at some sales data later to kind of see that you know the value add isn't really there. Uh, so that's why I kind of see this this grading service as you're just buying the case, you're buying the encapsulation. Um, the market for TJ that is not there yet. And uh, so anything that, that might be, you know, expensive now or expensive down the road, uh, my recommendation is you bite the bullet with PSA or BGS, or you just, you'll continue to wait. Maybe PSA will drop to more reasonable prices, who knows. 
Um, shout outs to Tim. Tim sent a couple cards to get graded. We got the Zacian. Uh, this is from the like the Sword and Shield Premium Collection box. Got 9.5. And then a nine on the Zamazenta. So if 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 we were to get to a nine on one of them, I think it's better to get on the Zamazenta. So uh, very solid grades there. Congrats, Tim. Um, but yeah, that's currently what how I feel about the the TGA service. So pros again, uh, reason, very reasonable price, um, reasonable time. So again, about two months to get the cards back end to end, um, and. Yeah, I, I think the cases are fine, and they come with this little plastic cover, which is, you know, it's a, it's only a plus. Uh, so now let's take a look at some sales data and kind of like show, like, yeah, I don't see the value add there as far as encapsulating, you know, rare, expensive cards. So, you know, while it's hard to get a get a pristine 10, like, even if you do, uh, you're you were probably better off using a different service anyway. So let's go to that. All right, so we're looking at eBay. Uh, we just did a search for Pokemon TGA, and these are all sold listings. So let's kind of go through and see what kind of sales are being uh, made with these kind of things. Uh, let's look for a card that we have some, can actually use some data points for. Okay, so here's one, uh, Shining Charizard from Shining Fates. This one got a TGA 9.5. looks like there were two of them. Uh, so then next tab, we actually have a search for Charizard uh, SV107 PSA. So then these are recent PSA sold, sell listings of the same card. Um, now, I think the, the thing to remember is that that does kind of change the math is if you wanted to grade this card right now, it will cost 100 uh, versus, you know, this card only costs 15. So yes, the cost to grade is different, but now let's say, all right, we, we chose the, the service and what can we get from the same card? So 9.5, which again, 10 is, I'm not sure where the bar for 10 is, but it's higher than anything I've submitted so far. Um, and TJ 9.5, only like 200 and then 127 as like the most recent sales. And uh, so if we take a look at PSA, so PSA 9, uh, you know, I, I don't, so 9.5 is probably like a nine, uh, maybe a 10 PSA, but you know, the sales, uh, you know, that, that extra hundred dollars is being reflected in the sale. Uh, this one, 127, you know, not even that, uh, even less. Uh, let's say that, you know, 9.5 does have a chance at getting a 10 PSA. So then you're looking at 400, uh, around 400 for the PSA 10. So, you know, that's exactly what kind of like what I was suggesting. You know, I think that the value add for TGA isn't there right now. Uh, if they continue to, to gain more market share, maybe that will change. Uh, let's see, what do we have next? So, all right, T P TGA 10, very hard to get in my opinion. Let's see what what value add is for a pristine 10, uh, most recent sold. So it looks like it hasn't been sold since the end of March right now is, or end of February right now, it's early March. And my gosh, so like, <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, not a very, probably a good candidate to, you know, use any real data for, but like, you got a pristine card and you spent the, at least, oh, let's just assume $15 to get graded. <laughs> Your return is like $2, uh, $1 for this one. It's a Japanese card, so I'm very curious case for, or uh, candidate for sending to be graded. Um, here we have a copycat, just so, you know, random, uh, full art trainer yielding only 36 for, you know, that's a very good quality card. Um, this is another kind of like, you know, I don't think this is a good candidate. Uh, Team Rocket's return, pretty old card, very good condition, $25. All right, here's one, another one that we can get, look at some, the real numbers at. So, Champion's Path, Charizard VMAX, Rainbow. Uh, so, Pristine 10. I'm, I'm confident that a Pristine 10 would easily yield a PSA 10. Uh, or I'm assuming based on the fact that I feel like I sent some uh, cards that would have a strong chance of getting PSA 10, but only got TJ 9.5. In my opinion, the bar is pretty high. What is uh, what does Champions Path Rainbow Charizard do for PSA? So for the 10, which in my opinion would be comparable, like the the price increase of sold listing is double. So yeah, that hundred dollars that if you were to do it right now to send it via PSA, yeah, you would, you know, with this uh, with these data points, uh, it's well worth that extra money to get it graded via PSA. Um, let's say you let's say you even got un or you know not unlucky, but it turned out to be a PSA nine. Um, 
you know, uh, at this point, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll assume that this would be sold for lower, uh, but you're still making up most of that. So it's like, maybe this would get a TGA 10, but I'll submit it to PSA and all right, I was wrong. It got a PSA nine. You're still kind of like making up most of that uh, extra money uh, that you spent for getting it graded via PSA. Uh, I can't remember if there was anything else to reference here in this, uh, this tab. Oh, special delivery. All right, this one, TGA nine, Mint 9 for special delivery Bidoof. This is a, a really good example. So this one's Mint 9. Uh, let's take a look at PSA special delivery Bidoof. So um, if uh, 10 is going for over a thousand and okay, so PSA 9, uh, let's just assume that this one's, you know, maybe it's like 300, maybe low or high 200s even. Um, where was that? Where was that Bidoof? <laughs> versus the the mint 9 tga was on, less than 200 so uh there again you know i think that 100 dollars price point for psa is there in the value add um uh, in the sold listings and so i don't think there's um let's see if we can find a psa 8 which we do find okay so best offer accepted so at this point or this is 8.5 oh, this our sales data is kind of all over the place with this card but th this is back in december at this point uh, but either way you know i think even at eight you know maybe um things are starting to line up as far as like yeah you spend an extra hundred dollars to get it graded and you're kind of breaking even uh with this sale maybe uh, but i think you know where things get really um i'm gonna use the word ugly is all right, well, let's look at just special delivery to Bidoof looking for raw cards, not even graded. Uh, so again, the TGA 9 uh, was sold for 175. How about if I just want a raw card, not graded? Um, and obviously we don't know what, maybe it's PSA 10 candidate. Uh, so, you know, there's 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 a, some unknown here, uh, but raw is going for, I mean, I would presume like this, maybe this went for like 200 or something. And here, like the quality absolutely makes a difference. Uh, so, you know, even this 140, um, you know, would this be better than a TGA 9? I'm not sure, uh, but let's assume that it did. Uh, at that point, you're kind of like breaking even, you know, after, um, you know, fees and shipping to and from TGA. Um, so again, the value add isn't really there for TGA. And that kind of comes back to my original point, which is, yes, I, I'm happy with the, the service, but I think it's for very specific use cases. For me, it's just getting that case around the card and something that I'll probably display um, catering towards like completing a set, so a base set. Um, I don't know, maybe jungle eventually, celebrations. You know, I, I really enjoy the celebration set, um, you know, if, if you know you pull like the new Charizard, I don't recommend getting that graded TGA, even though the price point is much less than PSA. Because um, from at least these examples that we looked at, uh, spending that extra money to get it graded via PSA, um, the value add with the PSA case versus the TGA, uh, in in a lot of cases, you know, makes up for that. So uh, there you have it. Um, just you know, my own thoughts about the TGA service. Uh, let me know what your own thoughts are. If do you, do, you, do you disagree, do you agree? Or if you have a different, I'll call it use case in mind uh, for this cheaper service compared to PSA. So that's all for me. Thanks for watching. I'm Warner Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.